coming too. Roger that.
So your suppressor is worn out. That gun will be as loud as any other now. If you have to shoot, be careful. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Don't hang around. Select unit. Staff assigned.
Select unit. Select unit. Staff assigned. 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 Development project has been added. Mission complete. That was rough. Thanks for getting us through it. How you feeling, boss? Getting used to being in the field again? Having choppers and a horse at your disposal is indispensable for operating in the wilds of Afghanistan. I've gone ahead and arranged for you to be able to develop and customize weaponry for support choppers. And you can also develop new equipment for D-Horse if you like. Use your iDroid to start development as needed. Side ops list updated. The side ops list is comprised of problems we need you to resolve. Objectives to be completed, and information gained from the soldiers and prisoners you've extracted. These aren't missions per se, but if you can take care of them when you're free, I'd appreciate it.
Please select a mission. Mission accepted. The map has been updated. Please select a mission. Boss, information warfare is more than just intel gathering. It also means disrupting enemy communications. Your mission is to punch a hole in the comms network between the Soviet outposts. That'll cut off their means to call in reinforcements. Technically, we were given this mission by a Western-backed Arab organization supporting the guerrillas. But it'll also give us a leg up in the future. Take a look at the location of the Eastern Communications Post on your iDroid. Head there and destroy its comms equipment. He who controls information, controls operations. Just look at Cypher. Good luck, boss. the unit that attacked us in the mist. You knew something about them. That wasn't my first run-in with them. It happened right before I was captured by the Soviets. We were on the Zero Line that day. The Afghan side. On our way back from training the Mujahideen at a mountain camp in Kuna province. There's a lot of that work in Afghanistan. Most PFs shy away from it because it draws too much attention. But for us, that was the whole point. The job itself went great. We just had to make it back to a tribal area in Pakistan. But all of a sudden, visibility got real bad. It was no sandstorm. Our point man gave a strange report. He said he could see skulls in the mist. Skulls? The next moment, he went silent. We scrambled into formation, right before his arms and legs came raining down on us. It was always supposed to be a dangerous mission, so I had Diamond Dogs very best with me. We were calling out to each other, but one by one, the voices just went dead. Whatever happened to me, I lost consciousness before I knew it. When I came to, I was in a Soviet camp, tied to an interrogation chair. Could they be some new Spetsnaz unit? No. The ones that interrogated me were just the average rank and file. Whatever group attacked us, the way they moved was just insane. And that mist, appearing out of nowhere. The Soviets don't have tech like that. If they did, Ocelot would have heard about it. I doubt the West does either. Otherwise, the folks at Langley would be sleeping a lot easier. Why'd they come after you? Wish I knew. I'm the only one who survived. Though I don't think they planned it that way. If I was their target, they wouldn't have just handed me over to the 40th Army. Whatever the case, we need to watch our step until we know who they really are. And boss, if you ever do run into them again, don't try to take them on. You just get the hell out of there. When I first started dealing with Zero, with Cypher, it was a somewhat parasitic relationship, though a mutually beneficial one. Cypher had no army of their own, so they wanted us. They wanted our strength. They approached me as a potential business partner, but they had other motives. Cypher coaxed us into Central America, into that U.S.-Soviet proxy war, to fuel Mother Base's growth. Once we were big enough, they'd force us to join them. That was the plan. That's why they had Paz still Zeke. If he's on the brink of death, it's hard to say whether he'll survive at Fulton Extraction. If you have to extract someone who's on the verge of death, you better use the chopper. But if you're gonna carry them, put them to sleep first. You won't get far if you have to fight them every step. Cover up their sabotage. That power Cypher wanted. We don't have it anymore. So why are they stolen crescent? Is it just the It's a type of medicinal plant. We can use that to make tranquilizer rounds more potent. All I know is the man I knew wouldn't want this. What do you mean? 
We have to consider that it might not be Zero we're dealing with. We know virtually nothing about Cypher anymore. How big they've gotten, what they want, or even who they really are. Extraction failed. The new mother base started out as a... I'm sorry, boss, but the extraction failed. The support unit just isn't skilled enough. If you want to increase the success rate of Fulton extractions in bad weather, you need to improve the support unit. company set up as fronts. We started renovating the half-finished rig. From the outside, it looked like the project was back on rails. Cause, you... What? I see what you're doing. Recreating the mother base we had nine years ago. Only this time. The mother cipher thought they destroyed will return from the grave to kill them. We'll prove to the world that we were the victors. And if we lose again? They can't fool us the same way twice. Now our enemies are in plain sight. And when our organization gets too big, we split it across companies. Any company that draws attention gets liquidated, and it's captured. If you neutralize an enemy without killing him, you can then Fulton extract him. Once we've extracted a soldier, we should be able to convince him to join us. We've never aroused suspicion. Plus, we have Hewick. Hewick? Human Exploitation Company. It's a business specializing in intel gathering. Think of it as a civilian intelligence agency. Cause, that's... Remember what they were trying to accomplish at the prison facility in Cuba? That gave me the idea. We dispatch moles into conflict zones around the world, and each sets up an intel network on site. Then they stay in place to give us stable points of contact when other nations intervene in the complex. Hewick's strength is that it has a cutout at each level. You get your job from one guy, then you hand it off to another. No one has direct access. It's a perfect black box. Hewick members also work their way into the superpowers intelligence agencies to make sure Diamond Dogs gets work. We have those countries by the balls. That's our deterrent when we need it. Networking. In the intelligence community? Sure. That's how we've grown this far. And when you go out on missions, intel from Hewick will be there to back you up. But despite all that, Cypher has its eyes on us. The only reason I'm not dead is that they needed to know where you were. Figured if you woke up, I'd go straight to you. That's why you made that ruckus at the Zero Line. Yeah. To make their own surveillance work against them. I think it took some of the heat off Cyprus. Cause... Then I just had to wait for you to save me. And I've gotten used to waiting. Cause... That's not all. It was a good chance to scout the market. And with the West wanting the Soviets out of Afghanistan, their agencies are bursting at the seams with funding. Boss, let's start by building up our Afghan presence. Why put Mother Base in the Seychelles? We're at the center of the world here. We're all the way out in the Indian Ocean. Come on. Lebanon, Sri Lanka, East Timor, and Africa. From here, our reach extends to conflict zones the world over, including Afghanistan, of course. So it's prime real estate for a mercy. to disable the Soviets' reinforcement system by putting a hole in their base-to-base -base comms network. Head for the Eastern Communications Post and destroy its comms equipment. First, use the binoculars to locate the communications equipment at the facility. That wild dog pup. He's a tough little guy. Boss, this is no time to be playing with animals. What are you gonna do, boss? The map has been updated.
soldier somewhere in the region. He's a language specialist. His role is to translate information related to the West into Russian. If we can get him to join us, we'll have the upper hand in information warfare. Find this language specialist and extract him. That's the target. Hey, you speak English? It's not easy. It's probably working with a driver. Hey, you speak English? It's not easy. It's probably working with a Soviet soldier in the Green Beret is speaking English. Must be a language specialist. With him on our side, we'd be capable of Russian interpretation support. Try and extract him.
Mission failed. Absinthium. That's used to make your phantom cigars. Your destination. You made it. First, use the binoculars to locate the communications equipment at the facility. Right. It'll be dawn soon. Your surroundings will be easier to see, but that goes for the enemy as well. The guard detail in Soviet outpost changes in the morning too. Watch yourself.
Marker placed. Marker removed. So, Kaz, the ship that took us from Cyprus, it used to be a whaler. Yeah, a Japanese vessel. How was the voyage? It was... <sighs> stimulating. <laughs> well, she was part of a whaling fleet up until a few years ago. Her displacement isn't anything to write home about, but she can really move. She still had plenty of life left in her, but then the work dried up. Global opposition to whaling has been mounting for years. Is that right? The push to ban it has been gaining traction for a little over a decade. Individual species came under protection as the years went on. And then two years ago, the IWC adopted a moratorium on commercial whaling. Several countries, including Japan, fought it to the bitter end. But eventually, most whaling companies had no choice but to throw in the towel. You ever tried whale snake? Can't say that I have. When I was a kid in Japan, practically everybody ate it. That good, huh? The country was poor in those days. And well was cheap. International opinions changed since then. In any case, that's why we were able to get a bargain price on the ship. Of course, we did end up spending five times the purchase price in modifications. We had to really work to fit in all the ESM and communications gear while keeping the whaler look intact. Right now, she's going around conducting SIGIN missions. In the future, we plan to use her as a communications relay base between you and Mother Base. And also as a okay. chopper resupply vessel. Diamond docks. Select the word unit. diamond originally Select comes from the Greek adamas. It means indomitable, Select unyielding. Select Other words unit. for the stones often mean eternal Staff bond, assigned. fortitude, unit. or purity. The same is true of the Star of Bethlehem flowers you laid on the boss's grave. Select they unit. represent innocence, as well as chastity. Yielding to no man while maintaining one's virtue. In other words, staying loyal to something.
shortly. arrived at mother base whoa, whoa. development project has been added at your destination.
осмотрели сектор, ничего не нашли. Отзываем поиск. Прием. Это КП, понял. Не расслабляйтесь. Они еще могут быть рядом. Конец связи. The enemy's given up their search for you. But they're not giving the all clear just yet. Stay alert. Extraction arrived at Mother Base.
destroy that and turn it off to shut off all the lights and surveillance cameras in the outpost. But of course, the enemy will realize something's up. If you're gonna do it, be quick. is growing like crazy thanks to you, boss. In fact, it's getting downright crowded around here. To bring a greater number of people on board, we'll need to expand our facilities. To that end, I've created a base development unit. 
It has two roles, material refinement and platform construction. I'll start with the material refinement part. The base development unit procures material resources on a regular basis according to its level. The materials are stored in containers and placed on the deck of Mother Base. Once they're finished being processed, they can finally be put to use. By using these materials to build new platforms, we'll be able to add a greater number of staff to our ranks. We don't need any specific instructions from you to refine the materials, but I want you to be the one to decide how we construct platforms. Once we have sufficient GMP and the required material resources, you can issue construction orders from your iDroid. Prolonged time in the field is bad for the body and mind. I think it's time you took a break. Do it for me. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. dog you brought back. I'm a troublemaker. Not sure about the breed, though. He'll get bigger? Uh-huh. Like this. You know, I can look after him. He's still a pup, so he doesn't listen. I have a feeling someday he'll be useful. I suspect you've discovered a real diamond in the rough. The little polish... I say we got a true diamond dog on our hands. DD, right? Oslin raising hounds. Fine. Come on, DD. Check your iDroid for the details. <laughs> <laughs> 